Hi everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of USD Composer. If you haven't heard yet, the USD Composer in Omniverse Launcher is considered legacy, so all future updates will be on the GitHub version, so if you want to see how to install it, that's what I'm going to do in this video. First step is to Google GitHub Kit App Template. It should be the first thing that comes up. They have some prerequisites, just a few things you need, an RTX uh, GPU. You need to make sure you have Git. If you're not a developer, you may not have Git, so get all this stuff installed. It's all pretty simple. And then after that, you're going to want to clone the repository. So just copy this, and now you're going to need a folder. Now I already have one here where I'm going to put it. Just create a folder wherever you want to put this. I am going to open a command prompt, so just in Windows, type CMD. Now I'm going to change directories to that folder that I have there. This is where I want to install it. Clone the repository. And this only takes a few seconds. Now we need to navigate to the directory that we just created. So go back here. Create a new app. It's your own version of USD Composer, so you can kind of customize it however you like which I'll show you how to do that here in a second. It's going to start installing. First thing you have to do is do you accept the license agreement? Yes. We're going to create an application, not an extension. And then the application I'm going to select is USD Composer. And then now you need to give it a name. DataJuggler.USDComposer. DataJuggler.USD Composer. Give it a version of 1.0.1. .1. And now it's going to ask what I want to call my setup installer. DataJuggler.USD Composer Setup. Display name. Just give it a display name of install. Give it a version of 1.0.1. .1. And now we need to build our app. But before we build, we're going to make a couple of modifications. Navigate to the folder that you just created. Go to the source folder, apps. You'll have this .kit file for the app you just created. Open this with Notepad. And there's a couple of things we need to do here. Two extensions that you may want. You don't have to do this, but I like to have physics enabled and I like to have the array tool enabled, and both are not enabled by default. Go down to physics. I'll put it in the same place as the other one. So that's the physics bundle, and the other one I want to give is the array tool, which will be right in that same area. You don't have to put these in alphabetical order, but I am. And there's one other thing that I do. You don't have to do this, but my vision isn't very good. So if you want to learn how to change the font size, search for the word font. And there's three places you have to change. One, this is the second. And there's one more right here. And now we're going to save this file. Now we're going to rebuild our app. So if you come back to our GitHub page, this is how you build. It's like everything succeeded. Now we're going to run the app. To do that, I am going to create a shortcut. To do that, I want a file to point to. So I'm going to create a new uh, text document in this folder. And I'm just going to call it launch.bat. Let me just save it. So now I want to edit this file. We go back to our instruction. This is how they tell you to launch it on Windows. Copy this. But there's one thing we need to do here, and that is, let me move this up to the top there. Okay, you need to add the uh, slash D if you want to have the extension manager be enabled. I am going to create an icon, so I'm going to search Google Images. Search for NVIDIA. Omniverse, this is fine, perfect. Okay, so we got this copy image. I'm gonna paste this into paint.net so I can copy just the logo. 
image crop to selection. Now I will save this as Omniverse logo. Now I will browse for the PNG file I just created. And now I'm going to download the icon. And now I'm going to move this to my graphics folder because I don't want to create a shortcut to a temp folder. So now we're going to create a new shortcut on our desktop. Back in the kit app template folder, I'm going to select the file launch.bat. Send to desktop, create shortcut. Now we're going to change out the icon. Right click, select properties, and then browse. And I'll browse for the icon. And the last step is I'll rename the shortcut. And we're done. Yes! Now I'm going to double click on our shortcut to launch Omniverse. First thing you're going to have to do is select your app. This will now launch your app. That was my video. Let me know if you have any questions or problems. Thanks for watching.